Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. So if you are new here, this is my daughter Jasmine and today I'm going to be showing you all the things I've added to her hair care routine that has really helped to improve the growth of her hair. As you can see, her hair was really damaged. So, so I added some of these um, natural ingredients into her hair care routine and I think that they are really doing a great job. So the first ingredient is aloe vera and you all know the benefits of aloe vera to the hair. Aloe vera contains something called protolytic enzymes which repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It also promotes hair growth, prevents itchy scalp, and reduces dandruff and it also conditions the hair so aloe vera is very very good for the hair and aloe vera contains uh, nutrients such as vitamin b2 b6 b12 b vitamin b and vitamin c so aloe vera is really really good for the hair and aloe vera is also antibacterial it also balances scalp uh, ph reduces the fungus reduces parasite if you have one yeah it also stimulates the blood circulation on the scalp it also uh, can cool if you if your scalp is really itchy yeah it also prevents itchy scalp it also treats hair loss aloe vera can also treat dandruff aloe vera can also moisturize your hair aloe vera can do a lot of things it is really really good for the hair and it also reduces thinning and guys aloe vera is the truth like and you can also do it like this if you have sensitive scalp you can also just cut the aloe vera without taking the gel out of the skin but i love 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 to take the gel out of the skin when i'm doing this for jasmine but if i'm doing this for myself i can just go ahead to blend the aloe vera with the skin So after I finish blending the aloe vera, I will just go ahead to put the aloe vera gel in this cheese cloth and guys, you really need this because if you do not do it, I think the, the little tiny particles that did not blend very well are going to be stuck into your hair. So you have to make sure you take out uh, the gel, you know using the you have to make you have to make sure to take out the particles using the cheesecloth and this is what it looks like it is so flawless and guys the second thing i do is to divide the aloe vera gel or the aloe vera juice into two so i put half of it into this bowl and i'll be adding some fenugreek as a seed and this one is grounded if you have the if you have like your seed you can just use the blender to blend it but this one is already grounded grounded it makes my life so easy yeah so this is what i did i just took two teaspoon of the the fenugreek powder I then i'll be adding almond oil and you all know the benefit of almond almond oil is so good i love almond oil because jasmine has low porosity hair and almond oil when i'm doing deep conditioning it just it, since it is light so it just penetrates into a hair shaft and nourishes it inside out and then the next ingredient is honey and honey is really really good for the hair because honey has both emulence and humectant properties making it a great hair moisturizer And if you think that your mixture is too thick, just go ahead to add a little bit of water. Then the second thing I'll be doing with the with the other part of the aloe vera gel is to put it into this uh, in this uh, spray bottle, and then I'll just go ahead to add some almond oil. This one will serve as a leave-in conditioning spray for Jasmine's hair. I love to use almond oil because it is lightweighted like i said before especially in the leave-in conditioning spray it is very very good if you are doing leave-in conditioning spray instead of adding oils like coconut oil and here jasmine hair was washed washed with shampoo so i'll be i'll be putting the conditioner on her hair and guys it looks so crazy look at how it looks like I think because of the fenugreek seed yeah but it is really a great max for the hair trust me and you can use this even on your uh on yourself if you're a mom and you have natural hair or even if your hair is relaxed you can just go ahead to 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 treat your hair with these amazing hair properties
So after I'm done applying the hair mask, I'll just go ahead to put this shower cap over her hair and then I'll be using this microwavable deep conditioning cap. Guys, I show I have a video where I showed I showed how I use this cap. You know, you have to microwave it before you use it or before you put it over your kids hair and I'll also be putting the link to the website where I got this cap and I let it sit for like 30 minutes after which I'll just take it out and then I'll rinse it with some lukewarm water and guys her hair was really conditioned as you can see the, in fact the, the max look weird but it is really a great conditioning to the hair and to the scalp this is really really amazing like for real so her hair was really soft and it was really conditioned and don't bother about all those particles they are gonna get out once I wash it out in the shower So after I'm done washing off the hair mask, I'll just go ahead with this moisturizing uh, deep conditioner. Guys, I use my Tresemme because Tresemme is really, it has a good sleep and it's also moisturizing. So I just put it on her hair and then I'll just comb it and then I rinse out the conditioner. This will make the hair to look soft and really, really moisturized. So moving on to the second step, I'll just be going in with this aloe vera leave-in conditioning spray. Guys, I make sure to saturate her hair with this spray because aloe vera is really good as a leave-in conditioner. Just spray it on your hair or you just use a gel rub on your hair. It is really, really good as a leave-in. Before, when I wash Jasmine's hair, I would just go ahead to apply her leave-in conditioner. But because of the benefits of aloe vera, I would just be going in with a leave-in spray first before I apply the conditioner. below so if you have not checked the video out yet, you can just go ahead to check it out and guys look at how jasmine's hair has grown thick it has grown it has really improved so if you are doing this you make sure to deep condition your child's hair with the aloe vera and fenugreek mask and then during the week you can just use the the aloe vera leave-in spray in the spray bottle and ju you just spray it all over her hair and just to make sure that it is really moisturized and then i did a protective hairstyle on jasmine and guys, I have a video of my on my channel. If you have not yet checked it out, go ahead to check it out. 